First of all, congratulations. That must feel amazing. <laughs> Thank you. It's really sweet. And um, it's obviously been a very harrowing year for Alicia. How, what kind of reactions have you had to that story then? Because it's a very important one to tackle. Um, how have people reacted to how you've done it? Yeah, I've had some really um, uh, nice, kind of, well, not nice messages, but messages from people that have been through something similar. I've actually had a, a lot of them, and that's been really nice for us to receive because that's you know why we did it um people messaging me saying that they've it's made them either confront you know whoever put them through that or made them uh, be able to speak out to their like close family and friends um and that was that was what that, you know that was why we did the storyline so yeah that's been amazing so, and it must have been quite a challenge for you to play because there were some very hard-hitting scenes but casualty one of the things they did so well that is they didn't shy away from the, with the brutality of some of the things that were done and said but was it quite challenging to play um yeah like you know it, it, it was hard because we wanted to get it right and, and make it kind of as authentic as possible and not you know black and white so it was hard just in that it was long days and yeah it's kind of quite emotional but obviously not uh, not as not as you know as hard as what it would be if you were actually going through that but yeah like as an actress like it was uh, it was challenging which is nice it's what, you know it's why we do you know we want those big storylines so that is hard and obviously fans are very much behind the Alicia and Dylan <laughs> pairing is there any hope for them down the line obviously they've both been through a lot do you think it could ever happen <laughs> we can ask that question <laughs> uh, what well, Alicia and Ethan um, yeah, I mean, we played Will They Won't They for about 14 years, I think. Yeah, <laughs> and there's more of that. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, I think probably what's airing at the moment is they're approaching something of a resolution. They're definitely, they definitely they massively care for each other. So I think, and I think the feedback from the audience is they probably want something to happen, but our producers don't like it when people are happy. So um, there's a few more challenges on the way. Uh, but there's also some some smiles as well. That's quite rare. Yeah. Yeah, we're always trying to sneak in banter and smiles. Yeah, where we where we can. <laughs> yeah. And um, obviously, Dil we found Dylan in a very dark place recently. Is there any is there any hope for him at all? Because well, we, there's always there, yeah, there's always hope. There's always hope. It, it's um, I think. I think. I think he's he's getting to the he's getting to the point where he's discovering the. Um, the the strength that you obtain from making human relationships, and so there's it's funny because you know people when, when people say it's been a dark storyline or it's been a difficult storyline, I kind of yeah I know I, I understand what people are talking about, but in a sense, what I remember of it is the love story and the fact that we've seen a side of him that. I, I mean, from from my point of view, obviously it was always there, but I think it's new to the viewers, and it's nice just to see a different part of the iceberg. Um, and I, you know, I, I I need to say just what a fantastic uh, year it's been working with Belinda, who plays Kira. It's very easy as a guest to come in and be intimidated by a show, but we we you know we kind of dovetailed the performances dovetailed and. You know, from my point of view, when I watch it, I'm, I'm infinitely more interested in what's happening to Kira than I am to Dylan. And that's not just because I, I read it, my bits and I didn't read hers. But he's a really, he must be a really fascinating character to play because he's got so many layers and so many quirks to him. But fans really seem to take to him. What kind of reaction do you get? I, 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 I pinch myself every day and I have to say I check, you know, the... I check with the police to make sure that I haven't been sent loads of poison pen letters because it's been unequivocally good from the day from day one and I'm just enormously enormously fortunate but I think it's I think the credit has to go to the original the, the originators of the character who I don't think I'll ever know who they are you know they were part of our writing team way back in 2010 um, but also to the people that I've met in my life are a bit like Dylan there's one whose name I, I can't mention because it's my secret, um, for whom Dylan fits like a glove. And I think of him every day. He, he wouldn't be the slightest bit interested. Um, but, you know, exposing that and kind of allowing other people to see 
this quirky guy that I knew a long, long time ago is is exciting, and it, it's it's a challenge of itself, and it you know it means that you don't get bored, which is the, the best thing that you can ask for.